I figured out why I'm having so much trouble doing reaction videos anymore. It's kind of like when I was an alcoholic. When you're an active alcoholic, you start drinking, under most cases, to kill pain. Something hurts, drinking kills that. That's good, that's fine. Problem is, the more you drink and the longer you drink, it doesn't just kill pain, it numbs everything and eventually you become desperate to feel anything. But you're numbing it all with the alcohol. After the death of my wife, I was just desperate to feel because I was numb. Because if I had felt while my wife was dying, I wouldn't be here now. So I was hidden beneath layers of depression, layers of withdrawal, and just desperate to feel. And the only way to feel was to drop all of my shields and let in whatever I was reacting to. Because if you watch my reaction videos from the older ones and even the newer ones where I break down crying, where it's just, I can feel. And that's why I was doing it because I was numb, I was asleep, I was sleepwalking, I couldn't feel. But by being able to drop down those shields and let that in, I was able to feel. In the past year and some, since I've been going to therapy, I have been more waking up than I have been, more awake, more non-depressed, more functional than I have been in the past 30 years. Since 1989, I have been sleepwalking. Just numbed myself to the point of almost not here with alcohol. And then not even able out, not even out of my depression, straight into the marriage of my wife, who two years into our marriage had her heart surgery and started dying in front of me. I've never had a chance to really feel since going to therapy, I have had all my emotional systems coming back online. I am remembering stuff from 40, 45 years ago, hitting me with full emotional impact. I am dealing with the death of my mother on top of the death of my wife. I'm feeling all of these things for the first time in 30, 40 years. I have no lack of feeling right now. In fact, I'm feeling and dealing with so much that if I drop my emotional shields, nothing's going to be able to come in. That's just going to have all this stuff come pouring out. So I'm not desperate to feel anymore. And that is why it is so hard for me to try and do a reaction video. Because again, dropping my shield so I can properly react to something lets everything out. And I've got 125% full capacity right now. Opening up anything just lets all this stuff out and doesn't let anything in. And while I know a huge part of my audience is because of reaction videos, I'm never going to stop doing them. I like doing reactions. I like seeing new things. That's wonderful. But for right now, I've got so much feeling that I can't. I've got to get this stuff, my emotional systems that have been out of function for 30, 40 years. Just because in the past year it's been coming back online doesn't mean I know how to deal with it. I haven't had any chance. When you start drinking, your emotional maturation, social maturation, oh hi kitty, stops. I have not been able to d build up the skills and such to deal with this sort of thing. It's not overwhelming me. I'm not being crushed and dying. It's just I'm having to deal with a properly functioning emotional system after 40 some odd years and trying to deal with emotional music is just right now too much. Hi kitty kitty. 
So that's the main reason I'm not doing reactions right now. It's just, I've got too much. I'm over full. I do love doing reactions. I love new things. I love seeing new stuff. I love hearing new things. I'm going to be doing them when I can. But for right now, I can't. And as stated, I know I have a split audience. Those people that like to watch reaction videos don't necessarily like to watch vlogs or game LPs. Those people that watch game LPs don't necessarily like to watch vlogs or reactions. And those people that watch vlogs aren't really into reactions or LPs. So if I stop doing reactions for any reason at all, there's one third of my audience gone. But right now, I've got to be able to deal with what's happening here. I'm more awake now than I have been in 40 years. And it's nice, but it's also overwhelming. And while I feel really awake right now, I do know that in one year I'm going to look back and go, oh, I thought I was so awake. I was still sleepwalking. I'm awake now. Uh, yeah, and then in another year, I'll think the same thing. Hi, kitty. She wants me to feed her.